morning welcome welcome hi um, i'm christy i'm at christy's stampin spot i am a stampin demonstrator here in the united states so welcome welcome good morning it is april 10th oh my gosh it's already um the 10th of april um so I don't have a project for you guys today. We're going to go through my pre-order. My, so my 2024-2025 um, annual catalog pre-order. So this is mostly the stamp sets. Um, I believe I showed you on my pre-pre-order. I showed you a lot of the DSPs, designer series, paper, the pattern papers that are going to be in the new catalog um, that we were able to get our hands on early. So I have the stamp sets today. So um, let me go ahead and make sure everything is up and running. I'm live. Looks like I'm live. So hopefully everything looks good. Um, I'm gonna let me see my daughter. Let me make sure my sound is good. All right, check my phone. That was that terrible. Just to see if it is where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm. I was not, I'm not. My allergies have been really bad lately. So I feel like I'm a little groggy. Um, but, ooh, look, it looks like I, it says on my phone I'm going live. Let's see. Do I hear myself talk? Um, I wonder how to, I have to make the sound go up. Oh, yeah, I hear me. <laughs> so, yes, awesome sauce. So, that's working. Fabulous. Yay. Okay, so, welcome, welcome. Let's do our unboxing. Um, I will turn you guys down. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so like I said, today is the 10th, so that means yesterday, the 9th, the annual catalog um, retiring, the May, um, the 2023-2024 annual catalog, as well as the January to April mini catalog. The last chance sale went live, so you were able to get some of those products up to 60% off that were on sale. Um, and I did notice, like, when I logged on, um, there was like 21 pages on my phone worth of stuff, and I think it was like it. 19 or 18 so things are selling out so make sure you guys if there's things in here that you wanted that was for sale um that was on that that last chance sale list that you were getting those products or if there's any last chance things that you guys want from these two catalogs i know it's so hard to want to get the old things but also remember there are quite a few bundles that are going um that the stamp sets and the dies are continuing but you will not be able to get those bundle prices so um definitely make sure um, you're getting all that stuff that, that I've posted all of the the last chance um, the ret and the retiring list stuff is all those um, lists are on my website um, and on Facebook so you can find those you can download them or print them out or you can just go into the um, you can just go into the web the online store and I under under sales or specials, you can click that button and it, this is last chance. And then you can see everything that is um, on the retiring list it's, that is retiring. So that's exciting. So that's in um, those two. And then it is the 10th, which means today is the last day to get that paper pumpkin. That means we're going to focus today on our new mini, ca our new annual catalog, the May to April 2024, 2025 annual catalog so hopefully um the customer should be getting it this week next week maybe um if you haven't gotten yours already if you are a um, customer here in the united states and you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like to get your hands on one of these catalogs i'll have my email in the description of this video as well as it's on my facebook and um, on my website where you can request a catalog so i can get one of these in your hands it's really pretty and this one um because we have been going more and more with all the online stuff with the new online exclusives that, that come out new um this is more of a resource for paper crafting so there still of course shows our beautiful products um but there's also a lot of other stuff in here as well so this is a really great one to have actually a physical copy of so let me know if you need one so excited okay yay okay so one of the things that was very exciting that we got to play with when we went to on stage um last month was we got to play at lunch with one of the new collections that stamp up has started um are quick and easy um they have some stamps the envelopes and um 
card bases, as well as a bunch of ephemera packs. So I've got all mine. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff. So let's show you that stuff first. Isn't that exciting? So this is the card that I made. And we only had like a sheet or two that was placed on everyone's tables. We got a card base. Um, let me show you guys the card bases first. Um, and then I will show you the ephemera packs that are very exciting. So you can get all of these that are going to be... Um, so if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order these now. Um, and uh, customers can get their hands on this May 1st. So this is the um, this pack is called the um, Calming Creek Cards and Envelopes, and the colors are Basic Beige, Basic Black, Basic Gray, Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, and Wild Wheat. So here are the card bases, um, and there are five in a pack. I believe it's like eight dollars. So that is you can make five for cards. That pretty. These are really lovely. Double. Oh, that it's white on the inside. Um, so if you don't want to put in a layer, you don't have to, to, to write your message. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I love their coordinating envelopes. So it has kind of like a subdued par uh, part of the pattern on um, the outside. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, the green one's really, really light. Um, but you can see on the inside, it has it at the full strength of the pattern that matches um, these beautiful card bases. And the, this set, again, is the Calming Creek Cards and Envelopes. So these are kind of the our neutral a neutral card envelope pack, which is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, and then this is our more floral one. This is the Sunny Spring Cards and Envelopes. And these colors are, um, oh, it's better if I pull it out and I can look at it better, through, not through, through plastics. Um, Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Bubble Bath, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Petunia Pop, Pumpkin Pie, and Shy Shamrock. Okay, so again, it's five cards and envelope, matching envelopes. Look at that. That's got to be that Shy Shamrock. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. Look at that. So we have this beautiful um, green, like plaid. Um, this has got to be, this looks like wild wheat, no, crush curry. It's pretty. And there's some floral, beautiful leaves. And then I love this gorgeous the azure blue. So pretty. And again, just like the um, Common Creek, these are the sunny springs. They have, of course, the matching envelopes. So they have the, um, it's kind of the soft um, coordinating uh, envelope. Uh, on the outside and on the inside, it has like the full strength matching. Isn't that pretty? There's the pink one. Ooh, that petunia pop. Very pretty. Those are awesome. Okay, so these are the summer spring. And again, there are five. Now we will still have, like, I believe the um, our regular basic white for the memories and more cards um, will still be available as well. If you want the plain ones. But these are so pretty. Ooh, I didn't get them in there. And these are, like I said, we got to play with these, um, and it was quite fun. Okay, so those envelopes are gorgeous, right? Now, um, these are the ephemera packs. So there's four different ephemera packs. There's like a floral, there's a like mix pack, a label pack, and a word set, right? That's so exciting. Okay, so I think I was the most excited about the words. Um, so this is, um, I used... So in this one, I actually stamped. I used one of the labels and the flowers, and I stamped. And the stamp that I used from this set that they, they show to use with these is that Simply Set. And that's the one that I used um, on Monday um, with the Hello. Um, I love this. This is the new one. But you'll find it also in the section that has these. So you get two. Um, let's see. How many does it say there is in here? Um... Quantity eight sheets, so you get two of each each type. So, um, oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my allergies are terrible. Okay, so you get um, it is an eight pack, so that means you get two sheets of four different um, designs, and the colors. Oh my gosh, you guys, there are so many colors in this. So this is the say some something ephemera pack. 
and it's azure afternoon balmy blue basic beige basic black copper clay crushed curry flirty flamingo garden green granny apple green pecan pie pool party pretty and pink pumpkin pie shy shamrock and wild wheat a lot a lot a lot a lot okay so you get two sheets of each so you can get of each sentiment right so these are like the littler um ones that are pretty fabulous that you can just quickly add um there's a hip hip hooray for your, today is your day here for you better days ahead forever and ever what a joyous occasion hee-haw <laughs> yeehaw <laughs> uh consider yourself hugged it's your birthday follow your heart it knows the way Love you forever. Bunches of thanks. Good vibes sent your way. Grateful, happy day. I like the happy day and the multicolors. That's pretty cool. There's not enough words to say how thankful I am. Today is about you. So happy for you. Thinking of you. Sorry to be sappy, but you make me happy. Oh, um, this is a confetti sparkles and streamers kind of celebration. Heck yeah. Shine on. Here's to you. Make a wish. Thank you for making a difference in my life. I'm so proud of you. And thank you for being lifelong friend isn't that cute so you get two sheets of that one and then it has some of these are these are bigger sentiments which are really fun also so i'm really excited because these will be really nice for if we do uh, if you're into scrapbooking there's a good luck today hip hip hooray celebrate congrats oh hey wishes and birthday um I love those colors right oh my gosh this is funny this has got a howdy and a ahoy hey hello happy love you friend thanks beautiful and for you and of course you could always blend over these white ones if you didn't want white you could make them any color um and then we have these um so we get these ones are the big the bigger ones we have these smaller ones and then we have these other smaller ones and look at that, that pretty pink hello and there's a happy birthday you're awesome happy birthday thanks friend what a milestone thanks Wishing you all the best. Thanks for always being a friend. The world needs more people like you. Smooth sailing and sun, um, sunny skies. Paper hug. All my love and thanks to you. Um, party time. You make life so rosy. Um, all the best. Yeah, it's go yay. It's going to be a good day. Um, you are the icing on the cake. Way to go. What a milestone. So these are really nice. And, you know, I, 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 I it's easy to see the, like, um, you make my life rosy and smooth sailing. And when I show you the um, the other ephemera, they really make, um, they did a good job of getting some of these to match. So you could use um, a sailing. They have a really pretty one. So um, you can really use all of these sentiments um, with the, the, uh, the other ephemera packs. So this one, that one was called the Say Somethings ephemera packs, like eight bucks get all of those right that was a lot of fabulous um stuff okay so let's look at the flowers flowers are always pretty um if you're a, and I, I i'm not a scrapbooker so i'm not um not that's not like really um something that i'm good at but um i'm really excited so if you're gonna scrapbook these would be good um the ephemera packs these are pretty so they got some roses um these pretty flowers more roses you've got they have some white and black so in case you want to do black and white or if you want to use your blending brushes to add and again it like like the others it looks like we have eight two sheets of four and this is the fully flowering ephemera pack and it is afternoon delight balmy blue basic beige bubble bath crush curry fruity flamingo garden green granny apple green pecan pie petunia pop Pool party, pretty in pink, shy shamrock, and wild wheat. So this looks like this is the same ink colors that is for the other, um, for the word set too. So look at that, isn't that cool? So, okay, so you got these gorgeous colors. Two sheets of those. Here's another sheet. So there's one that's black and white or that you can add your own color. Pretty greenery. Oh, these are really pretty. And, it's, and all kinds of different flowers and sizes, which is nice. And they have ones that pair together, too, that is pretty. So yellows. It's pretty. And, of course, they have ones that you can color yourself. And then here's the last, last pair. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So these are the fully flowering ephemera pack. So 
that's the uh, flower ones. These are so excited. So these are new. Like, we've had some ephemera packs in the past, but nothing like this. Okay, so here is labels. So this one is called Labels and Layers Ephemera Pack. And these don't come, um, these don't come in these little sleeves. I got these on Amazon. Um, labels and Layers Ephemera Pack. Again, it looks like, yeah, it's the same colors that was in the other. So the Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Basic Beige, Bubble Bath, Crush Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Pecan Pie, Petunia Pot, Pool Party, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Wild Wheat. So, um, awesome. Okay, so again, and it's eight sheets, so you get two of four. So, this one is, so you can see, let's see, I used on mine, I showed you guys the flower. What did I do with that card? Did I lose the card right here? And I used one of the labels, and, there, and those were two of the flowers from that, from that set, um, the flowers that we just showed. Okay, so these are pretty. So they have like a bunch of different types. And it has, you know, this one's like flagged. You guys see that? Or not flagged, it's got the scalloped. So these are really cool. Yeah, there's a lot that says scalloped. So they have different shapes. These ones are the flagged banners, different colors. It's so cool. And then it's kind of fun. There's, that one's pretty and it's got, um, Looks like it's like a notebook page. It's pretty. And then this is this is the sheet that I used. I used this one right here on my card. Like that, you can see it. That's where I got this label from. So is that fun? It's kind of fun. So pretty. Um, yeah, it's lovely. So these are awesome. Like I said, this is called Labels and Layers. Ephemera pack. And yeah, labels and layers. Yay! Oh my gosh. So this is fun. Like, um, if uh, you are trying to, you know, make a bunch of cards, um, <laughs> you're not sure, you have to grab something right away quick, even more quick than making, like, a quick de designer series paper one. Um, these things are awesome. Okay. So this is the fun. I really like this one because the flowers are beautiful. Labels are very useful, and so are the sentiments. But these ones are just fun. And this is called Everything... No, something for everything um, is these. And again, it looks like it's the same same colors. Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Basic Beige, Bubble Bath, Crush Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Pecan Pie, Petunia Pop, Pool Party, Pretty Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Wild Wheat. So yeah. And again, eight. So that's two of four. And look at that. So that is a swallow. We've got some sailboats, a fish, a pretty banner birthday candle, a butterfly, ice cream cone, um, hot air balloon, a sun. That's cool. So you get two and some books, it's library books. It's cool. Another butterfly. I love these. Look at the puppy. Oh, it's so cute. More butterflies and balloons. Another banner, rainbow. There's cake, feathers, strawberry, blueberries. So that's pretty cool. Like a lot of fun, different sizes too. Um, that's always kind of fun to have different sizes. Ooh, now here's a frame and an inside piece. We've got some coffee cups, a star, a lemon, a cowboy, some cactus. Here in Arizona, man, we have saguaro cactuses. This is a prickly pear, a cupcake, another um, candle and butterfly. Um, so you get two of those. And then this one's got a kitty. Oh, and there's a bow and a camera. There's a a flower cart, some luggage, typewriter, light house, um, potted plant. So this is really a good mixture of type of things. So it looks like um, it was eight. So let's see, did I show them all? Two. I did, didn't I? The kitty cat. Four. There's the um, cowboy. Very a lot of very different uh, things. There's the puppy and that bird, and then the sparrow and the sailboats, hot air balloon. So you get those, and this is called again the something for everything ephemera pack. So these aren't stickers; they are cardstock. Um, so there's you don't have to worry about the the glue. So if you want to pop it up or um, however you want to add those onto cards, I can't wait to play with those. 
those are super pretty. Now, I also got um, one of the Memory and More cards. So the Thoughtful Journey, I've been playing with the Thoughtful Journey um, uh, paper. I love this paper so much. Um, these are their uh, Memories and More packs, and they are a little different than our other Memory and More packs. There's not as many in this stuff, and there's no stickers. Um, there are 28 sheets, um, but this is of that Thoughtful Journey that matches, and it is just gorgeous. So you get some that are the bigger size. Um, what is this? The f I think it's like four by six. Is that what this is? Yeah, six. Four by six, yep. Four by six. I love this. I think this is my favorite. Look how pretty that is. And it says, um, best day ever. There's some pretty foliage on the back. We've got some ha a happy birthday. This is so pretty. So you can use these if you do memory keeping or if um, you can turn these into card fronts or use them on your cards. So that's got that. Like the a boss and resist that pretty kind of watercolory colors making memories it's so pretty and then this one says uh treasured memories but i think i like the other side better on this one if i remember correctly oh yeah look at that it's pretty 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 it matches that like i said the thoughtful um journey designer shares paper thinking of you today it's got some dots on the side so that's the big set of the four by six and then here's the, the little ones. And the little ones are definitely, this one's got like dots on it and sending you all my love. So you can definitely use these also uh, for cards, but um, for memories too, if you make those, um, life is an adventure. Um, the pocket scrapbooking. And um, I'm excited we might do some more 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 paper scrapbooking. That's pretty. Um, the sky is the limit. I love this. This is one of my favorite sheets of that designer shares paper. Um, that looks like like little almost almost like like the fuzzies, right? <laughs> it's pretty, and I love this one. And um, this has got like lines on it, like journal lines, note and note lines. And then the back it says um, celebrate another year, right on the back. It's gorgeous. Like that's like my favorite. <laughs> I like both of these, too, and it's, of course, on the same one. Look at that. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous. I was like, I love these. These are, like, perfect to put on card fronts or if you're going to do um, use the 6x6 to make a paper layout, scrapbook layout. These are pretty to add um, your words to. Just thinks the bunch. That one got out of sequence. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love this thistles. So pretty. That's kind of cool. That's a really nice, bright color, right? Um, here's the thing. Here's the other thing so much with that out of sequence and celebrate today. These are so pretty. Look at that beautiful bright colors. Um, and then these are kind of the muted ones. We have some, if you like these kind of stripes, we have some with the bright colors and some of the other paper packs, um, that are so pretty. And so this is the thoughtful journey memories and more card pack. The colors are blackberry bliss, boho blue, Cajun craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pool Party, Pretty and Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So that is um, our Memory of More cards. So they are, there's not as many, um, I, but they're gorgeous. And we don't have a sticker packs. So if that's, if you're used to our Memories of More packs and that's what you're looking for, they are a little bit different, but these are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so that is um, the new collection of um, our quick and easy. It's going to have, um, you're going to find these section together with some fabulous like, card layouts and um, so to be easy with these ephemera packs um, and the cards and envelopes. I love these. I can't wait to use. And they match some of the images. You can stamp the images. I love how they have incorporated a lot of, um, you know, there was some sailing uh, the sentiments that would match some of this, the fun, um, something for everything, ephemera pack, it's so pretty, awesome, awesome. I think there's one other um, Memories and Poor pack that I did not get. I don't remember what, what kind of thing that was for, but oh my gosh, you guys, I love that designer truth paper. I know I showed it to you. Okay, so one of the things I was also really excited about before I get into the stamp sets was I showed you the hip, um, the Hooray for Honeycomb, which they gave us at OnStage. This is the other new kit that you can get right now. So this one, you don't have to wait. You can get this one right now, and it is so adorable, you guys. You're going to want 
um, they're, we're going to probably have these for a while too, which is so exciting. This is the By Your Side kit. This is our kit collection kit. So it's not paper pumpkin, and it is a stamping kit. The Hooray for um, Honeycomb was not a stamping kit, right? You just had to put that one together. This one is a stamping kit. It comes with an old olive and a stamp set. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. Let's see, do I have, I can put that against this white so you can see that. It's Best Friends, uh, Best Friends Forever. It has a little fish, a little bone, a little kitty paw, a, pu a puppy paw. You make my heart happy. Here's uh, to a true friend, and it, I'll always be by your side. And what's fun about this stamp, this um, kit um, is that you can make your design your cards if you want them to be kitty cat cards or puppy dog cards, right? So, and it comes with a block, so you can use your stamps. And it has these really pretty sequins. Like I love those gold gold heart sequins, and they're pretty big. I love, love, love. Okay, so we got we get card pieces. Um, this looks like these are with like little stitched elements and then they have like little pop out hearts and again uh, this looks like a circle um, with the outer uh, stitch elements so that's pretty cool so let's look at our um, but the images for these cat and puppy like I would love to have a stamp of these because they're so cute right they're so cute so here's a picture of the cards and it's actually I think it's two different types of cards um, and I believe it makes eight yeah, eight cards. So, but you can make, they bring enough pieces where you can make them either all puppy or all kitty cat. But aren't they pretty? And then they have this little cute um, piece in the middle of the envelope that you can stamp either the kitty paw or the puppy paw, which is really quite adorable, right? Super awesome. So when you get this, you can get a, um, it comes with the instructions, right? Um, I, this one, I believe, does not have twine, but it does have, like, measurements on the edge. I love that. I think that's so fun. Um, and of course, you can. There's a video. You can click on. You can use these to get the QR codes to go straight to the video of the unboxing of these, and it shows you kind of what's all in the kit. On the back, you can keep your piece of um, chipboard for other projects, or if you want to use it to stamp on, give yourself a little extra cushion when you're stamping. Look at these envelopes. So you've got the pretty pink one. Um, let's see. Does it say what colors? colors in this kit are um, basic black, Cajun craze, clips of coral, copper clay, crumb cake, old olive, and petal pink. So this has got to be petal pink, clips of coral. Super pretty. I love that. Crumb cake plaid. And there's the circles. What I love is they add this at the edge of each. So it's white on this side, but you guys can um, stamp the uh, paw print or the kitty, uh, um, the kitty or puppy dog one which is super cute, right? Super totes adorbs. Okay, so now let's see. These are the card bases. So they have some of the crumb cake, and there's what looks like the old olive, petal pink, so pretty. And then there's the crumb cake one. Um, and then they're white on, the, on that side, so you can make. Um, and like I said, the, the best part about this kit is there's some labels are these look how cute these are oh my gosh you guys so they got kitties and it's like four sheets so you can make all your cards kitties or all your cards puppies or a mixed look at that puppy he's so cute <laughs> like a little hound and that looks like a little terrier is that a terrier um he's super cute the kitty with the eyes oh they're so cute oh my gosh they're totes adorable so i love this kit it's super adorable i'll, I'll get this one made and play with but you can order this one now, along with the hip, hip, the um, Hooray for Honeycomb, which has the, where you open it up, and it's got the honeycomb on the inside, which is so cool. And again, that one's not a stamping kit. Um, I believe this one is 22, the stamping kit. And I know the non-stamping kits are a little, I think, are a little less expensive. But, oh, my gosh, you can't beat that for eight cards. Um, and it has all, plus you'll have a stamp set and an ink spot to add to your collection, which is pretty awesome. It comes in this fabulous bat box to keep it. But this is the Buy Your Side kit, and you can get that now in my online store in the kit collection, which is super awesome. Okay, so let's see. I did get the online um, some more um, jewels. This is the 2425 in color resin dots. 
So those are pretty. I don't know if I had those before and showed those to you guys. I know I showed you the um, 24, 25, 6, 20, 24, 2026 20, in color shimmer gems, which are really quite beautiful. We got a pack of these at the after party. So I actually was have been able to create with those. Those are pretty. These are, they have a bunch of pearls in the catalog. These are basic gray and smoky slate pearls, which really go pretty with our, um, there it is, a fabulous airplane suite. And then I'm not sure which ones these go to. The Oh, I think maybe they go to the, um, these are the same colors that go uh, to the Thoughtful Journey. Pearl, um, does it say what colors these are? Pearl and stick. These are just the pearl pearl trio. It looks like it's gray, like an iridescent gray, and it like a clipsal coral. This almost looks like berry burst. If you can see. I always remember there's stuff underneath the little edge there. Oops. You guys see those colors? It almost has a green tint tint. So I'll have to look to see what colors those are. That is quite pretty. Very pretty, very pretty though. If you like pearls, they got some pearls. They got a lot of pretty colored pearls, but I love these shimmer. I think shimmers are really fun, and even the resin dots, especially if you want to add a pop of color without any kind of, um, you know, it, it doesn't raise your card at all, especially if you're doing a bunch that you're in a mail and you're worried about that. We've got you covered. So awesome. And then, of course, I got the new ink colors. Oh, I love the ink, new ink colors the markers and I love to get the markers too because that way if I ever have a mess up I can use the fine part to to finish my sentiment with this in the right color or you can um, sign your card in the right color but also you um, unlike the blends with the Stampin' Right markers you can actually color um, you can actually add ink to your stamp so that you can um, stamp in multiple colors which is really fun and then I, I did get the ink colors. I don't know if I showed you guys. I know I didn't show you when I got these, the, the, our new ink pads. When you get your new ink pad from Stampin' Up, it has this label on the back. I don't know if you guys have noticed this in the past. It's in different um, uh, languages, but you can use these to add your labels. And I like to put my label right here. And um, so that's what these are here. And then if you see, there is an, uh, a blank one that has no, um, there's no color or no writing on it. And that's the one I usually put right here in the well so that you can see the color, what color it is when it's opened. Some people like to put it on the side, um, although I don't know if that would have problems with the rat um, when it moves. So I probably wouldn't put it, I probably wouldn't put it on the side because it would probably interact. You might want, you could put it on this side. But I love to put that, that clean, the, um, the one that doesn't have any, uh, letters on it right there and um, so this is the petunia pop so it's pretty fun I know that I have putting labels on I'm pretty sure is a, a video on in my um, online uh, website under like stamping 101 how you can put your your ink, you, you put the labels on your ink pad how to cut your and put the labels on your stamp sets and oh my gosh you guys I got some stamp sets oh, 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 oh. okay let's pull these stamp sets up so many beautiful again I didn't get everything um, because um, I, I showed a lot of restraint though on the free pre-order um, but I wanted to show you guys I should I think the only thing I got was the on the preview order was the simply said because I think everyone's gonna need that one that one's so awesome it's just a great all-around stamp set and then I got the hugs right the um, the one that has the the Kawaka, I think. It's the Q U A K K no Q U O K K A, I think is what it is from Australia. It's the one that if you, you Google it, it has this little hands out and a big smile. <gasps> it's like the happiest the happiest one of all. So I did get the other two embossing folders and a bunch of the stamp sets. So let's look at these embossing folders. So I showed you guys the um before I showed you the one that was swirly, that was a 2D, that's the um, new six and a half by, um, six and a half by eight and a half, or six by eight and a half, I'm sorry. These are, it's just huge. This one is the 3D one, so it's um, even bigger, right? It's got that, it's pretty thick edge. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Awesome. 
I mean, that that's huge. You can you could do two two card fronts at once with that. I think I showed you guys. Like here's the. So this one is the. Um, you can see that it. You know, one the 3D is so much thicker, but this is the swirls, and um, that is the dotted circles. Is that one? And then the other one we were able to get was the eyelet one, and it is a 3D 3D eyelet. Let's look at it. Um, I cannot wait to play with these. And this one's the regular one. You can really see the difference between the regular card front one that we use. What is this like four by six? Is this the four by six? What size is this? Yeah, four by six. Oh, I'm sorry, four and a half by six. Um, and then this is the, look at how big. So it really is, you guys, it really is much bigger. Um, but it goes in our standard, our, our cut and emboss machine. Um, it was pretty awesome. Just remember when you're using your embossing folders that you always put the edge into the machine first. Um, that way the stresses move when you, because it, it moves it down this way so that um, it doesn't put extra stress on the edge. Um, to help keep your uh, embossing folders nice. You don't want to break those. Um, those are fabulous. Um, awesome. Okay, so let's get into these stamp sets. <gasps> They're so exciting. Okay, so if you guys remember the, um, it, is it uh, the Grove with that has the deer um, that has a really pretty scene? We have another one, yeah, which is a little bit different the in the Grove. Um, this has got a little fox. And this looks like um, like flowers that you can stamp on the side. Um, look at the beautiful mountains. And then this is like a grassland, and we've got some beautiful trees. But these dyes, you guys. So the in the um, the in the grove dyes are pretty fantastic. Um, there's a little, a little squirrel. There's they have the ones that cut out the images, right? So there's the fox, the mountains, and then you can see there's like an extra that's like the mountain range edging. So you can really add, um, I, I, we'll have to cut some out so you guys can see how it actually cuts out. Um, there is, uh, the, that's going to be the plains right there, and then the trees, and then look at the bunny. So we've got a squirrel, the bunny, and it cuts out the fox. And then if you see, this is smaller, like a smaller edge, so it's almost made to go perfectly on um, the card front uh, horizontally, right? So um, that looks pretty cool, right? That's those birch trees that looks so pretty there's a tree line um it's gorgeous i cannot wait to play with this this is a really pretty image that it stamps gorgeous as well um i don't know if it's a distinctive i'll have to check um, the catalog to see but or um, online to see what it says but it that looks pretty awesome very fabulous in the groove the thoughtful wishes okay so the thoughtful wishes is the one that goes with that beautiful paper like the memory and more this is the the thoughtful I've, I've shown you guys a thoughtful journey and i've used it um before on other ones but this one's that gorgeous that oh so pretty this i believe is the stamp set that goes with it if you can tell like these are are the, those thistles so i think we've had some fifth thistle stamps in the past Isn't that gorgeous though oh my gosh i can just see it with a little bit of that petunia pop so pretty and then we also saw um this image they had it with the draw, the stamp emboss look on the memory more cards, some pretty foliage. So this is a thoughtful wishes stamp set. It is a red rubber. Um, you you make life better. I appreciate you. Thanks, missing you, thinking of you fondly, dearest friend. And then it's got a little splatter, which is gorgeous. I love when they add this splat the splatter. And then the thoughtful wishes dies. There are eleven, and look at those. Wow. So this is a huge, fabulous. Piece of foliage it's gonna be great um put under banners we've got a bunch of leaves we got some that cut out the images oops they come out the, it cut out the images um right there we've got yeah a ton of leaves and foliage um and extra foliage that's pretty so this is gorgeous i can't wait to play with this i've seen some stuff um it's just beautiful beautiful i believe yeah thoughtful wishes thoughtful wishes at that moment, we have a bunch of really beautiful flowers and um, kind of uh, beautiful die cuts that are going to be like so gorgeous. Now, there's a double suite, 
and this is the Flowers of Beauty, and I did show you guys, this is the one that I won the paper for that's that really bright, um, and all of those really bright colors. Um, so pretty, look at that Shy Shamrock and Summer Splash. I love that, right? So beautiful. This paper, this is the Unbound Beauty um, paper in it, and a part of that suite is the, it's a double, a double suite, so it has two, um, it has a, a stamp set, and it has um, the, the image set of flowers. So, um, Flowers of Beauty, it has these beautiful leaves, it has a bunch of these, two-step stamping, um, gorgeous, right, gorgeous, and there's the beautiful flowers, I love these too, so pretty, um, and this is a photopolymer. Um, I think it, it might be at 100%. No, it's a little bit, this is like 80%. So the flowers are a little bit bigger than they are shown on the front. Open that up and look at that. So pretty. Love of love. Matches that paper. It's so gorgeous. And then again, the dyes. So look at that. You can make a bunch of the flowers um, at one time, strips. Or you can use that to make a, you know, a strip down to make the banner. Um, so there will be a lot of fun possibilities with these two dyes. Um, and then we've got a lot of this foliage. I love foliage dyes. I think I use, I usually use those even more than when, than cutting out um, the actual images. So I love it when they add those extra, those extra images out. And then this one cuts out um, the flowers, right? The centers, the leaves, um, the flower, right? And, and the, um, whatever that kind of, it's not a hollyhock, I'm not sure kind of a flower that is but it's gorgeous it could be a hollyhock I'm not sure I'm not that great with the names of the flowers um, but it's pretty and I that the colors right with the um, in colors are so pretty so spring so ready for spring so pretty and then it comes again with a the other part of the set has unbound love which is the photopolymer stamp set and it's 25 stamps so it's got the hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow Love never gives up. Faith is being sure of what we can't not see. Best of luck. Peace makes the world a better place. You're a true blessing. Feel better soon. You've got this. Friend, little one, celebrate. Hello. Awesome. You are loved, friend, with sympathy. Happy birthday to you and yours. Have a blessed day just for you. My heart goes out to you, and may all your wishes come true. So um, looks like that was at the right size no I guess it's a little bit I guess it's at 80% so definitely they're a little bit bigger the sentiments and they are you know the faith in the hope and love are all um, by themselves the, the little sayings that you would put with it um, do are not like connected so you don't have to worry about that but that's pretty awesome but I think my favorite part about the whole suite are these dies so the unbound um, love dies there are is it 16, look at those guys. I love label dies. And there's some with the, the flowers in it on the oval. Look at that, an inner an inner scallop. Um, and then I believe this one you can make, this, this looks like um, it will make a, cut it out twice and wrap it with a little piece. You can make a bow with it, is what that one looks like to me. It's got this beautiful frame, with the foliage on the side. Um, it's more of those um, pretty, flowers. Love this one. Oh my gosh. And there's a tiny um, stitch circle there. Another stitch circle. Some ovals. Um, and then these really fun rectangly ones that have like the edges. Um, I love this outer, the outer um, scallop. I think those are so pretty. And then these look like little labels. So this is a fabulous die set. I love this. I think it's my, one of my favorites in the catalog. Um, 16 dies. Unbound love. So if Ken, it fits all of her sen sentiments, but um, oh my gosh, I can see using this so much. So pretty. There's one other frame set that was not on the pre order. You guys, it's just gorgeous. So we do have another um, 3D um, hybrid. This time it is these gorgeous Seaside Wishes, um, gorgeous um, sand dollars. Isn't that pretty? You absolutely made my day. Sometimes the simplest things mean the most. Isn't that gorgeous? Love of love. It is a photopolymer set. Look how beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to play with this one too. 
and it again is a hybrid. And what that means is, um, when you get the bundle, you can get you get the stamp set, the dies, and the hybrid embossing folder. Or when you buy it separate, I think you can get the um, you get the stamp set, and then the the embossing folder and the dies come together. So this is a 3D embossing. So the hybrids are 3D. And um, what they are made, though, for the dies to fit directly inside. Oh my gosh, I cannot get these out. I did not open this one. Okay, there you go. So you can see how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love, love, love. But it's made for the dies to fit in there. So those are the Seaside Wishes dies. And the dies come with, um, they can cut out the images, but then it's got like these inside pieces. Like I said, it will cut out these, um, it'll cut out the ones you want to make. So it kind of fits in here, kind of snaps into place, and then you can run it, you, you run it through, and you run it through. Um, this is the top. You see the little Stampin' Up Lego on the top? And remember, always put it in um, the edge in first. You can see how that goes in there. And that way you can emboss and cut at the same time. So if you don't want to cut, you just can emboss like regular, um, but it is made so that it, the dies will not hurt our um, your embossed pieces or your embossing folder. So that's pretty awesome. Or you can um, cut out pieces and these are inside. I cannot wait to play with these. These are so pretty. All right, let's see, how did I get this to set? I know this went on here because it came off up here. Did it not? Doo -doo -doo. Wow. I don't remember how I had it. Here it goes. Just like that. <laughs> I'm like, how did I hold all my tongue just right? I don't remember how that goes. I need to put my magnetic sheets. These came in late last night and oh my gosh, you guys. So I did go to the movies and um, my our packages were delivered while I was at the movies, even though my, my, I, my boys were here, but it didn't come to my house. They accidentally or um, set my pre-order and my daughter's medication that has to be refrigerated, as well as like the spark plugs for my son's car, they were all delivered to the house across the street. So when we got home and they said it was delivered and my sons were like, no, nothing came. We had that small panic of, oh no. But luckily it was just our neighbors. They were able to get it to us right away because my daughter's medication has to be in the refrigerator. So um, even though I would have thought usually my pre-order was the most, you know, stressful, um, but it wasn't actually, it was my daughter's <laughs> medication. Luckily we got that, but um, so I haven't had a chance to really play with any of these, but oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I love, I love sand dollars. So pretty. Like, I'm always looking for those when we go to California. Okay, so this one is um, Adventurous Sky, and I did show off this designer shirt paper. It's really pretty. I love these clouds. I think the cloud paper is one of my favorites. Love, love, love. It's got these really cool images um, of the biplanes. Um, I'm actually looking forward to, I got a dark wing duck um, that has um, a launch pad. I was like, oh, I can use that to, to make my daughter. She loves um, the duck tits. <laughs> so I was going to make her a card with it. But I love, love, love this. It's a great happy birthday. I love the, um, this image with, that's like the sheet metal, right? That's pretty cool. It's a red rubber. It's pretty awesome. Look at these dies. So this is the Adventurous Sky dies. I love that they've now made, you know, they. St I still look at it like expecting it to have a different name. So I'm always excited when I remember, oh, yes, no, it has the same name. Um, the dies do. But look, you can build um, your plane, your airplane with, so it has, it has the dies to cut out clouds and the images, but it also has to make, a plane, which is pretty awesome. You know, mix and match the colors and stuff. There's little propellers. So this is pretty awesome. And then they have it so it's designed so you can add this banner. Um, so it's like it's pulling um, your banner of happy birthday on it, which is so cool. It's so cute. Super cute. This is the Adventurous Sky, which is quite fun. Okay. And then like we had in the um, mini catalog, we have another Layers of Beauty. And I believe um, the other one is still available. I know, I know I played with it on my, um, you guys, on the blog, where I played with, with it. 
what is it called? Enduring beauty. So the enduring beauty is staying. Um, I don't believe it's in a bundle though. So that might be one you might want to get in a bundle. But layers of beauty is the new one. And look at that beautiful rose. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is one of our um, million dollar achiever sets. This is a Shelly um, Godby set. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? Her roses. It's so pretty. Happy anniversary. You make me smile. It has like a little daisy and a little leaf. Little sprig. I love little daisy. It's so pretty. And this is a photopolymer. And it is awesome. One of our, um, it does have a stamp up set of dies. Um, it has a cute little uh, label die, some extra leaf dies and flower dies, um, just different types of leaves and foliage dies. And then it has all the, the line art dies that you can cut out the images. But this is one that you use that has the um, decorative masks. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to play with that in During Beauty, it's pretty fun. These are awesome. And they make it so you can do it um, either by yourself or by itself, so you don't need the, the dies or the the stamp set, right? It'll make it, and it has these little notches that you can use, and they're numbered to make it easy. And um, that's pretty awesome. Where you can uh, color your image, right? So you can stamp stamp it, and then you can color it um, using your blending brushes um, or sponges or however. Isn't that pretty? Awesome. I can't wait to play with these. These are really fun. Like I know that it's pretty on brand. There's a lot of um, the, this is one of the new things that, that a lot of the other companies are also doing, but I'm so glad that Stampin' Up! is as well. But isn't that pretty? I just really love it. And it is a different kind of look than our other, the Enduring Beauty. So that's pretty nice, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. And then, um, okay. And then these were the dies that went with that. And then I did get a stamp set that is a standalone. And this is called Under the Moon. Um, I did not, there's one other suite that I did not get that I'll be getting later um, that has potted plants that I don't know if that's petunias because every time I see the dolphins, I'm thinking um, they have that gorgeous uh, paper and I'm pretty sure it's still available. The, um, the one that matches the, the like the NASA um, astronaut set, that beautiful solar um, paper. I forget what that, I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. I thought it had some, like, right here. But um, it is the annual catalog. Because I got an extra pack of that. I was going to say, what did I do with my annual catalog? Oh, here it is. It is, what is that called? That paper is so pretty. Um, here we go. And it has an holographic paper, too. What is it? Stargazing. Oh. I, if you are a um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right, that dolphins, thanks for all the fish. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. I made a card with that paper and that beautiful whale that we had that was in the last mini catalog um, with the dolphins. I did get an extra pack of that paper because I want to play with that. But look at the beautiful, the moon. Oh, it was gorgeous. I could have made a, um, uh, something with that. I'm pretty for our eclipse. Did everyone have a fun time with the eclipse? Hopefully everyone stays safe. But look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure this is distinctive. Love that. Those clouds are gorgeous. Looks like over like a little bit of a mountain range. This is going to make some beautiful cards. A little sailboat. Oh! And again, we can use one of our new um, the sayings, right? The, the, um, from the, the new ephemera packs. The little dolphins. So if you're a fan of dolphins or the sea. Um, or are distinctive, this one is going to be pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, exciting, exciting, exciting. I think, I think that's all that I have for you guys today. You know, I, um, I don't know how, how long it's been, but oh, there's just so much. I'd love to hear what your favorite thing that you're looking forward to. I mean, oh, my gosh, this is a paper. And I love that it matches um, that Thoughtful Wishes because um, that one, that one Thistle page, Let's see, I have a pack that's already opened. Here's one right here. Like I, I cannot wait to try to make to recreate some of this thistle with the um the stamp set right here. Um, the thoughtful wishes. Ooh, and this one is also um a uh, million dollar achiever set. This is Lori Krause. Yeah, Lori Krause. I 
oh my gosh, I can barely see. So these are my, my glasses for filming because it's the perfect, they're the perfect distance for me to see my laptop. I guess in my other, my readers, um, I can't see the laptop. Um, <laughs> so then it's harder to read up close with these. Um, so funny. Oh my gosh, old, old problems. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god, it's so pretty. I love that. That's the thoughtful, the thoughtful wishes paper. Um, and that thoughtful is your wishes stamp set. So I'd love to hear what your favorite is, what you're the most excited to see play, to get your hands on starting May when you can when um, you can get your hands on that. Get your hands on this. These are all the stuff in the pre order so this is stuff that demonstrators can get now. Um, and if you can't wait till May, now is a perfect time to join. Um, stamp it up because you can add all of this to your starter kit um, and uh, so so much awesomeness is always happening I cannot wait to get my hands to play with this my my craft room is still in flux because I need to get rid of some of the or some of the retired not get rid of I need to lovingly um, place it <laughs> my retired stuff and um, Take some, I, I do keep some of the stuff from my keeper shelf up at the very top um, of retired stuff but um, I've got so much new pretty things to play with. I cannot wait. So hopefully, I'd love to hear what you guys are the most excited to hear about. Um, but like I said at the top, we do have the um, last chance sale for the 60% off, up to 60% off on some of the products. And that sale just started yesterday on the 9th. So and it goes till the 30th is when you can get any of the retiring products if, until they sell out, um, including the 2022, 2024 in colors. Um, and then there's some of that designer chairs paper. I, like I mentioned, I'm really excited. I got another pack of that stargazing because I love all those planets. And I totally have another one of those. Um, when I get that, the country, I think it's called country store, country something. It's got like the pot with the flowers. Um, I need to make a, a whale and the, it's the whale in that one, um, the potted plant. And then it's the dolphins. Thanks for all the fish. Oh my gosh. You guys, um, from the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. But anyway, you can get um, the annual catalog stuff that's retiring and the mini catalog. So the 2023-24 annual catalog and um, the mini catalog until April 30th. That's the day. So, and then May 1st is when the, the new catalog goes live. Also, we are about today's last day to get um, the delicate the delicate wings uh, paper pumpkin. So if you, if you, are thinking about getting paper pumpkin now is a great time to get it um, this quarter is gonna be awesome um, and those second quarter dies are available now in my online store you just have to be um, a paper pumpkin subscriber to get it they have the butterflies um, is for April we have that pretty um, uh, hexagon what is that uh, sentiment die is for May and I, I'm pretty sure I saw the thing that, that May is is gonna be um, kind of a Father's Day with wood, looks gorgeous. And then in June is that thanks, which is really cool. I love the word die thanks. So um, those are available now in my online store. Like I said, today is the last day to make sure you get subscribed to get the Delicate Wings paper pump in. So thank you guys so much for joining me um, to check out my unboxing of, of all my new stamp sets and dies that I got, um, embossing folders and that those fun ephemera packs. I'm just really excited to play with those. Those are excitingly fun. And it's very different. Like I, I'm not, ephemera is not one of those things that I'm um, really used to playing with. So I'm excited to try to, to, try to create with those. Um, give that a try. It looks like it's going to be fun and easy, which is awesome. So um, if you're watching this um, later on Facebook or on um, later on my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe and um, share share my video with your friends um, and if you need any Stampin' Up! stuff um, my host code is will be um, in the description of this video as well as the link to my to my store I appreciate your support so you guys have a great rest of your day and your weekend um, and happy crafting guys <laughs>